Hello dear students. So already we have started study. Study to study about the identities. Already we studied the four identities and all the examples. So now we are going to explain that identity. First identity is the X plus Y equals to that. It's a binomial identity. So now X plus Y equals to we are converting to the trinomial identity. That is X plus Y plus Y equals to. So then we are converting X plus Y plus Y equals to by using the identity one. So let. So what number X plus Y plus Z equals to. So let me let here X plus Y is equal to T. So we take the X plus Y in. Because we want to see identity, but we are not going to solve this identity. So therefore, x plus y plus z equals to that we can write as a x plus y is equal to t plus z equals to. So we are solving identity one here. So because of this identity one, we are going to use here this identity one. What we have to A plus Y is also we can write that as a T square plus two T Z plus Z square. This is identity one. So T plus Y is also we can write that T square plus two T Z plus Z square. That's all. So here use the identity because binomial we are learning. So for that we have to use the binomial for this one. So then now here again substitute the value of T square. So T is what X plus Y D whole square plus two into x plus y into z plus z square value. Now so again we have to use the identity x plus y whole square. So that is x square plus two x y plus y square. Okay. Now we have to z we have to multiply each each side. Two into z into x that we have to use this two x z. Plus two into z into y that we have to use two y z plus z square. So now take up x square plus one side x square plus y square plus z square x square plus y square plus z square then two x y plus two y z plus two z x or x z one. So therefore. Then for what we got x plus y plus z equals square. What we got x square plus y square plus z square plus plus two x y plus two y z plus two z. So whatever this is there now, so this is the standard form and this is the identity. So some example on identity find here. So then here, C A plus four B plus five C B whole square. Means we have to compare this example with me. Identity is plus Y plus C B whole square value will be plus A square plus Y square plus C B square plus two X Y plus two Y Z plus two Z. Okay. So by taking this, we have to Come, x one is a is equal to four, so x is equal to three a here. X is equal to three a. Y is equal to four b, and z is equal to five c. So substitute the values. The formula that is four b plus five c b. Okay. So then x is split. This is the split. Three a squared. Plus four b square plus five c square. It's the five percent over here. C 
y empieza esto es para esto es para esto y ya tú ves de qué van a hacer esto es para esto y esto es para esto y esto es para esto y esto es para esto so when you get x plus y where it has this you can use identity what identity what that is x plus y is also equal to x square plus 2 x y plus y square so we are going to get the identity so now what we do that x plus y is also equal to x square plus 2 x y plus y square first we have to multiply x by x to the second term x into the second term that is a x square Plus two x y plus y square plus from y to second term y into again same term x square plus two x y plus y square okay now what do we do so x into x x two x into two x y that will give us a two x square y x into x y square that will give us x square sorry x y square x Into y square. Okay, plus y into x square. That will give us x square y. X square y plus y into two x. That will give us two x y. Two x y. That will give us two x y square. Plus y into y square. That will give us what? So then x cube plus y square. X cube plus y square. We want to write one side of the equation. So then here. X square plus y square, x square plus y square. I will write one more thing. Two x square y plus x square y. Okay, plus x y square plus two x y square. Okay, then x cube by two. Write that is this. Three x square y square, x square y square. Two x square y square plus one y square, two x square y square. Then you get plus three x square y square. Why? Three x square y. And here x y square x y square two plus one that will give us two x y square. Okay. Now here x cube plus y cube plus in between these two this is the common three x square y square. So then we can get a three x y as a common. So then three x y common can be taken as one and then this only x square will be taken and here it is one. So therefore this is only the number three. Six times ten is four. Identity six. What is that one? X plus y is equal to is equal to what will be x cube plus y cube plus three x y into x plus. So this is equal to six identity. Okay. Now here we put y. As minus y in identity sixty. What we have? So y is minus. So then here x minus y is equal to. So then x cube. So then here plus y is equal to minus y is equal to. Okay, y is equal to minus y is equal to plus three x. Into minus y into bracket x plus o minus y. Okay, simplify it. X cube minus y into that will give us minus y. So here yeah, plus into minus so that will give us minus y. minus three x y into bracket. So x after this plus into minus that is minus. So then x minus y is equal to Two x cube minus y cube minus three x y minus two x minus one. So this is the identity. Identity seven. So this is six identity. And this is the seventh identity. Only interchange of plus two minus everything is same here. X plus y cube plus two x cube plus y cube plus three x minus two x. Plus y. Like that, x minus y equal to this equal to x cube minus y equal to minus three x y into the bracket x minus y. These are the two of what two or identities we have converted to second degree to third degree. So now we solve the example on these identities. So here, yeah. example on the six and seven identities. Six seven. 
So here x one b a plus four b equal to this number x one is equal to x minus b equal to x cube plus y cube plus b x one plus b 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 y cube plplus b y cube plus 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 b y cube plplus b y cube plus b y cube plς 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 b y cube plls 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 b
my friend, my friend said this, for me, it's equal. So, let's go for y2 polyphenols. Let me explain, I'm going to say y2 polyphenols. y2 x squared plus y squared plus x squared minus x y minus y z minus z x So then plus from z2 hold on z2 x squared plus y squared and from z2 z2 hold on y squared plus z squared minus x y minus y z minus z x Ok, now y squared is that one x into x squared that was a x cube x into y square that will become x y square x into x square plus that is x z square minus x into x square by then x into y by take x y z minus x y z so plus into a minus and x into z that will become x square z ok now plus y into x square then x square by plus y into y square that is y then y into z squared plus that will be plus plus y z squared then y into x y z that will be minus x y squared then y into y z that will be minus y squared z plus minus x y z so then plus continue x squared into z plus x squared z so then x plus x into y squared that will be plus y squared z and x into z z into z squared that will be the same z squared plus y then z into minus x y that minus x y z so z into y z that minus y z squared and it must be minus x z squared ok so now let x cube x y squared here is a into minus x y squared is there so check out so it is the close to cancel so here the x y square is there, plus x y square is there, anywhere you can get the minus x y square, so take out, so x y square, so here, x y square, plus x y square, minus x y square, we can say, so next one, x z square, so anywhere minus x z square you can say, then it comes x z, plus x z square, minus x z square, you can say, x square y, so anywhere plus x square y is there, yes, so here plus x square y minus x square y. So then x square z and here minus x square z it is. Yes. So plus x square z minus x square z. So then y z square and here minus y z square. Minus y z square plus y z square. So minus y square z plus y square z. Okay, next time we all are cancer telling you what we have experienced in x2 means minus x, y, z means again here y2 means plus y2 again here minus x, y, z means again z2 minus x, y, z So then x2 plus y2 plus z2 take one side minus x, y, z minus x, y, z minus x, y, z means that we have to do this minus 3 x, y, z Yes sir. What minus 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 all of minus is that it becomes a minus three x y etc. So therefore this is only to be a identity. A identity. So that is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x y z. That will be to us x plus y plus z is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Minus x y minus y z minus z x. This will be your a identity. Very important. This is very important. So what? What? Your a identity are you gonna? And let's just prove our answers. But the a identity are you gonna? Let's just prove our answers. So let's just prove. So this is your a. But then you need to prove your answer. So go to the top of it. So this is your a identity. So depending on this, you will see the examples. So for example, factor x, 8x cube, y cube, y cube, plus 27, z to minus 18, x, y, z. Okay. So then we have to factorize the using the x cube. So then we have to factorize the x cube plus y cube plus 27, z to 
minus 18x one seven. So then how can I write this one? So check out how can I write this one? So then here you can write this one. Double side will be right here. 8x two division by 10 is 2. It's good. Okay. So the top eight is a two number of two digits. So then y two we can write as a one y two plus y two. Plus 27 we can write as a two by two minus 18. So that is a three into x means what? Two x y into three side. Check out here. Two three plus six six three the eight. Okay. So that means which side we can put here? So that is eight. X two plus y two plus x two minus three x y side that is equal to what? X plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus three x y square plus y so x y so x so y square x y okay x square y square x y y z minus z x Okay, so then here we already write that two x two plus y two plus three seven two minus three into two x y then three z. So that will be the right x y z x y means two x plus y minus y plus three z means that is the I said, so then x squared, x squared means what that is the 2x squared plus y squared, 2x squared means 4 squared, 2 x means only 2x means 2x, x means only 2x means, 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 means that is the 2x squared plus y squared plus 3 70 squared minus x y, x y means again the x means 2x, 2x into y minus y into 3z minus 3z into x is 2x. Okay, now here. Here 2x plus y plus 3z as it is. Now simplify this one. 2 squared, 2x squared means that is a 4x squared. Plus y squared plus 9y squared. This square is nice. A minus 2 into y, then the 2 x1. Minus 3 into y, then that is 3 y. Minus 3 into 6. So this is the required expansion here. So factors of a in this one. So you can write the a to the x plus x2 plus y. 2 plus z2 minus 3 x y z is equal to x plus y plus z. In the way, x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus x y minus z minus y z minus z. So these all the eight identities are very important in order to practice thoroughly. These all the identities, okay? So here we are here using identities. So they proper identities are there. So we have to do that. What are the four digits that get? One hundred plus forty, forty. Okay, these eight plus forty, forty. So when we multiply by 100 to 104, what do we 
get back to the brain in the so one lakh twenty four thousand eight hundred one lakh twenty four thousand eight hundred twenty so add all the all this we will get the how much answer we will get so that is one one two four two four eight six four so eleven lakh twenty four thousand eight hundred and sixty four answer we get so this is the Validation. Validation of the given number is not equal to the given number. You see, proper identities. I hope you all understood how the identity is. It is very necessary to perfect all the eight identities. So, we get a chart of the eight identities and we will make good well going, well being going. We have to understand all the identities which will be perfect for you. So, without skipping most of the video and studying the exercise, solve the exercise 4.5. If you are facing it, you can ask. Thank you so much.